I then release fire here, so I'm going to try to talk you through the key points to be able to complete the purple streamer. I'm not going to show you everything. I'm not doing a full walkthrough for this because it would literally be you watching hours of running around the sea and all sorts. But hopefully the shortened video is going to help you out. If it does, drop me a like below. But essentially you can't go after the purple streamer until you've done the yellow streamer. So if you're at a point before doing the yellow streamer, you definitely need to continue on with the storyline. However, once you've done the yellow streamer, you can head out to sea and it will tell you to head on back and that you need a chart. And then when you head back to the museum, you'll be able to talk to Captain T. Ode, who happens to have a sea chart and he will point you in the direction of Bonehead Island, which you can see on the chart over in G5. Now once you get here, you'll have to go through the skull, which is relatively easy to do. However, if you're having any difficulty with that, you can check out how to get through it with the link at the top. But once you interact with the toad sculpture inside the nose, you'll find out that you need three orbs from Diamond Island, and it'll also activate a fan to clear all of the fog away from the sea. With all of the fog out of the way, you're then able to set sail over to Sea Tower Island, which is this place over here in B1. However, once you get to the door, you'll find that you're going to need three orbs, and that ties up with the previous clue, where you need to get to Diamond Island to be able to get the three orbs. So clearly, to get these three orbs and to be able to unlock the door, you need to get to Diamond Island and pretty much everything that you do from this point onwards is all designed to get those orbs. And the first thing that you need to do is stumble across at least one of the other islands. There's four islands that are in this diamond formation. And the first one that I found was Club Island, which you can see here on the map at D1. And here you'll find these markings which show you the formation of the four islands. So you'll be able to find another one called Heart Island to the far south of where Club Island is, which is all the way down here. And then there's another one over on the right hand side and on the left hand side. And actually it's this one, Crescent Moon Island, over here at F3 that you need to aim for to be able to start the process of picking up the orbs. Once you get here, you need to be able to catch this crab, beat it in battle, and that will then bring up this Earth Elemental pad, head on over, do your thing with the Earth Elemental, and that'll bring up the rest of the island, which turns out to be Full Moon Island, and you'll also get more confirmation that you need to aim for Diamond. And then when you check the chest, you'll find out that the key to Diamond Island isn't there, and that your brother's got there early, and that he's taken it to Mushroom Island. However, you do get this handle, which you can use in Mushroom Island, so you need to pick this up. And then if you check the statue just behind the chest, you'll also find out where Diamond Island is. It's in the middle of the four other islands, so we'll be going to there straight after going to Mushroom Island. So over at Mushroom Island, which you can find just to the south of Full Moon Island, you will be able to hit this tree and get a fire of elemental pad to be able to melt the ice and get inside. And then when you head on inside, you'll be able to use the handle that you picked up from the chest on Full Moon Island to be able to get out through the door. Out through the door, you will find Luigi, who indeed has a key, and it turns out to be the diamond key, which you can then use to open up Diamond Island. There's a little bit more to do before you can go to that, and to do that, you need to head down the stairs just behind where Luigi is. You can just see the stairs just there above where Luigi is lying. But once you've done that, you can set sail to Diamond Island. So you need to head to D3, and once you get here, you can then duck down using the Merino so you can dive underwater. And once you get underwater, what you'll find is that there is a lock to get into what will become Diamond Island, just this diamond shaped thing here, 
with a key underneath it. And once you use the key on the door, you'll find yourself here, which is where you'll find the three orbs. But to be able to pick them up, you'll have to complete three challenges and there are three pads to use the Velamental powers to be able to get yourself into these trials. Now the first one, which you can see on the left hand side, you just use Earth Velamental. However, for the second two, you're going to need Ice Velamental powers, which you won't have at this stage. The good news is that the Ice Velamental Temple is actually behind all these trials. You just need to head over to the left and smash through the blocks and complete the Ice Velamental Temple. Once you have that, you can then head on back and freeze the water or put water in and then freeze it to get into the other trials. Now, if you're struggling with how to get into any of those, you can check out the video above. Equally, if you're struggling with the rope challenge, you can also check out some tips in my walkthrough series, which you can see the link for at the end of the video, and the same for the questions trial, the trial of wisdom, again, in the links at the end, along with other videos to help you along the way. But once you've completed all of those three trials, you'll then get the three orbs, and you'll be able to head on back to the Sea Tower Island to be able to get in and go after the purple streamer. So when you get to the door, you'll need to put each of the three orbs in individually. And as soon as you do that, obviously the door unlocks and then you can start heading up the tower. Now, it's fairly easy to get up the tower, so you shouldn't have too many problems. And then when you get to the top with this elevator, you'll find yourself face to face with the dreaded tape boss who takes his time arriving, but he comes up on his own elevator and he's kind of a tough boss to face. So I've created a whole video on how to take him down. If you wanna check that out, again, that is linked above. But as soon as you beat the tape boss, you can then use the 1000 fold arms to grip and smash the purple streamer. And that will see you completing this and that is Paper Mario, the Origami King, Purple Streamer, done and dusted. Hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and check out the rest of my guide and walkthrough series for Paper Mario, the Origami King with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments, let me know if you get stuck on any part of the Purple Streamer and I will catch you next time.